Hi friends, welcome to Curie Electronics. Today we are going to solve second part of LPSE 2018 Technician B Electronics question paper. So we will go to the 21st question. All of you please subscribe the channel and share with your friends. So we will see the question. Up to 20 questions we have solved in the first part. So question number 21. An op amp is designed to amplify. An op amp is designed to amplify both AC and DC voltage. It can amplify AC also. It can amplify DC also. The so question number 22. The input resistance of an or ideal op amp is input resistance of an ideal op amp should be infinity infinity in practically it will be very high resistance and in the output side the output resistance of, of an ideal op amp is going to be zero output resistance of ideal op amp ideal op amp operational amplifier next question in a certain series resonance circuit vc equal to 100 volt vl equal to 100 volt so xc vl equal to vc so the circuit is under resonance v are equal to 35 volt the source voltage is at resonance what happens at resonance at resonance the total the voltage across resistor equal to the applied voltage so the answer is option d 35 volt this excellent x and xc cancels each other and whatever the applied voltage that will be across the resistor that is vr resonance frequency is given by fr equal to 1 upon 2 pi by root lc and one more thing at resonance at resonance impedance circuit impedance will be equal to resistance so we will go to the next question question number 24 if the collector current of a transistor is 10 milli amps and the base current is 100 micro amps then what is what is its beta what is beta beta equal to current gain current gain of common emitter amplifier current gain of common emitter c configuration so beta beta equal to ic upon ib what is the value of ic given that is 10 milliamps 10 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 base current that is 100 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 so minus 3 if we cancel minus 3 will be there now 1 0 1 0 we can strike it off so what it will be it will be 1000 upon 10 to the power minus 3 when it goes to the numerator it will be 1000 1000 upon 10 again we will cancel and the answer will be 100 so the answer is 100 option c question number 25 two coils having self inductances of 16 milli henry and 25 milli henry are mutually coupled so self inductance l1 equal to 16 milli henry l2 equals 25 milli henry now the question is the maximum possible mutual inductance is the mutual inductance m is given by square root of l1 
multiplied by L2 which equals what is the value of L1 it's all are in millihenry so millihenry you can leave out that's a unit we will take the number 16 multiplied by 25 what do you get 25 multiplied by 16 5 6 are 30 2 6 12 12 plus 3 15 1 5 1 2 2 so it will be 4 we got 400 so square root of 400 equals 20 so it is 20 milli entry so the answer is option b 20 milli entry question number 26 a yes, two stage rc couple amplifier has stage gains 30 and 40 the overall gain that is overall gain overall gain overall gain equals to products of e stage gain that is if you take it as first stage equal to a1 multiplied by a2 product of e stage gains that is a1 equal to 30 multiplied by a2 equal to 40 that is the second stage gain so total will be 1200 1200 so the answer is option c PID of a non-conducting diode in a bridge rectifier is it is twice the peak value of AC input twice the peak value of AC input and here uh, in the option one more option is an option D peak value of AC input this is in the case of half wave rectifier half wave rectifier if it is a half wave rectifier we will get a what you will get the same whatever the input AC the same input will get it uh, but in the bridge rectifier it should be double V2 times the peak value of AC input question number 28 28 the negative feedback in an amplifier our answer is improves the gain stability improves the gain stability when there is negative feedback it decreases the gain but stability increases the bandwidth actually in the field negative feedback increases increases okay now we will go to the next question capacitive reactance of a capacitor is xc equal to what capacity reactance is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc so the answer is option a is the answer question number 30 short key diode short key diode is a normal diode but it is somewhat fast diode fast acting diode it has got it has got a low cutting voltage slow turn on time heavily docked pn junction none of the above short key diode has a low cutting voltage what is the cutting voltage of short key diode that is 0 0.2 volt generally question number 31 bjt bjt is a bjt is a dash bipolar junction transistor we know in a transistor what happens the base current ib controls the collector current ic ic so it is a current control device so bjt is a current control device but what about uh, what can you tell one example of a voltage control device fet fet is a voltage control device that is if you take a fet fet also mosfet also what happens is a drain the source drain source gate this is what channel it's coming in it's a n channel n channel it's a n channel j effort here what is the vgs 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 this vgs vgs controls the id the id is a function of vgs so this is a voltage control device so for vgt is a current control device question number 32 
variator diode is commonly used for so variator diode we know it's like this the variator diode this is used for what it's used for electronic tuning and when you draw a graph if you apply a reverse reverse voltage reverse bias voltage and the capacitance it's a capacitance capacitance one second I'll let me write it properly and the y-axis represent capacitance 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 you will get a curve like this that means when you increase the reverse voltage reverse bias voltage capacitance is decreasing so variator diode is commonly used for electronic tuning so the question number 33 at resonance the impedance of a series RLC circuit is so you can draw a resonance curve here this is frequency or omega this is the current i in the series resonance current what happens at resonance at resonance this is the resonance point resonance frequency at resonance the current is maximum i max current is maximum here at this resonance point but in the circuit what happens at resonance the circuit impedance equal to circuit resistance because xl equal to xc at resonance this cancels each other so we will be left with the circuit impedance equal to resistance so the answer is option a question number 34 the total circuit impedance of a series RLC circuit for a series RLC circuit what is total impedance in the RLC circuit series RLC circuit we will get a phase diagram like this uh, this is the voltage across R or I will take it ok VR also or I will take it and we will get we will get this is let me take it as what xl xl because current is leading this is the i and the current is lagging in the inductor circuit and current is leading in the capacitor circuit see so here in the impedance impedance is given by r square plus xl xl minus xc whole square we can write it as xc minus xl whole square also if it is whichever the, depending on the magnitude of xl and xc so the answer is option a question number 35 a given copper wire of 10 ohm resistance is pressed to double its original length by its new resistance is now here uh, now what happens A rho uh, no, resistance R equal to rho L upon area. So this is given as 10 ohm. Next, what he has done? He has doubled the length. So R dash equal to a rho instead of L, I will write double 2 L by area. Now 2 I will take it out. Rho L by A rho l by a we know what is the value of rho l by a so 2 multiplied by 10 10 is the rho l by a so it is 20 ohms 20 ohm is the answer but i am not convinced with the question why means we can add we can double the length of a wire by adding wire to it but we stretch a wire area will be okay stretch a wire also uh, we are not saying whether we are stretching it in a uniform way or not so that also we can apply okay we will go to the next question uh, to 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 learn this uh, variation of resistance with respect to physical dimensions of a conductor i have already made a video regarding that i'll put in the i button you could watch to for a better understanding and different combination of values question number 
36. Resistance of a copper wire increases when? Resistance is directly proportional to L by A. Now when it increases, if we diameter decreases, that means resistance is directly proportional to L by pi d square by 4. We can write it like this also. This is the time uh, area pi d square by 4. So diameter is there in the denominator. When it decreases, uh, then the diameter decreases, our resist resistance of a copper wire increases. The answer is option option C. Diameter decreases. Okay, we'll go to the next question. Question number 37. The charge of an electron is what is the charge of an electron? 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So the answer is option A. What is one electron volt? One elect one electron volt. One electron volt equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. Okay, that's all the constant you should know. Question number 38. The terminal potential difference of a cell of 2 volt and internal resistance. So we have a 2 volt battery, uh, 2 volt battery, 2 volt cell. We have a 2 volt cell. What is connected? It has got an internal resistance of 0.1 ohm. When supplying 5 amps of current is flowing through this. This is 2 volt and 5 amps of current is flowing through this circuit. 5 amps. The terminal potential difference. The terminal, if you hear, if you read the voltage, if you connect a voltmeter at the terminals, what is the value you will get? That is the question. Now 2 volt is there. When 5, 5 amps of current flows through this internal resistance 0.1 ohm, 0.5 volt will drop here. 0.5 volt drops here. Drops here. How? V equal to I into R. I will use that equation. So 5 amps flowing through a 0.1 ohm resistor. So 0.5 volt drops here. Now when you measure, we will get only 1.5 volt across the terminals. So the answer is option option B 1.5 volt. So we will get 1.5 volt. Now we will go to the question number 39. Inductive reactance of an inductor is the direct equation he has given. Xl equal to what? Xl is the inductive reactance equal to 2 pi Fl. So it is directly proportional. This inductive reactance is directly proportional to frequency. If frequency increases, inductive reactance also increases. So the answer is 1, 2 pi Fl. Question number 40. This is the last question today. The formula for frequency of a triple five a stable multivibrator that is 1.44 upon Ra plus 2Rb multiplied by C. The answer is option A. Uh, now, if it is a monostable, if you use it as a mono stable or one shot or one shot, one shot T time period is given by. So it will give us a 1.1 RC. One shot means it will give a uh, pulse. It will just give a pulse. That period is given by the equation 1.1 RC. The triple five can be confirmed in many ways. So friends, thanks for watching. I hope all these are useful to you. Uh, all the best for your preparation. Please share the videos with your friend. And thanks for watching.